G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines with some impending Melbourne weather coming in behind us and I'm here with David Garcia from Warrigal Marine Centre. And David, we have tested nearly every Maclay boat in the range, haven't we? But this is one we haven't got to yet, can you tell us about it? Yes, yeah, Steve, this is the uh, Sportsman 591 Cuddy. Uh, previously we've tested the hardtop version of this. Uh, this is the, uh, the Porsche version. Um, this is the speed stuff, mate. This is good fun. You betcha. It's got a 115 horsepower four-stroke Suzuki on the back. Uh, does drive like a sled? It does, mate. You uh, you tuck the engine under and you point into a corner and you hang on because it will just goes around like it's on rails. Now, tell us, give us some Maclay Boats 101. The things I remember about Maclay is is the, the way these boats keep their shiny aluminium finish. What's that all about? That's the Nylick clear coating. Uh, it's a product out of the States that uh, Maclay have adopted as their own. Uh, it's really good at um, reducing or basically eliminating oxidation. Uh, it keeps painted um, paint off the off the working areas, so you're not have, not worrying about smacking your sinkers up against it and chipping off that nice two-pack paint. Now, of course, the, the story goes in the marketplace. I buy an aluminium boat because I can beat it around. Well, this this really is a work boat, isn't it? There's no paint on any of the surfaces that I can see here, especially ones that are going to cop any any work. Yep. Um, how does it go in the bright sunlight? Uh, it's not too bad. Look, if, if you're worried about glare, you can put down a rubber matting on the floor to reduce the majority of the glare. Um, mate, at the end of the day, painted boats look great, but as you know, they're not that practical. Yep. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to be just resting up against this, this jetty in a, in a painted boat. Um, my customers would expect a healthy uh, demo disc. Yep. So now this boat here, it's set up above the base model. What have you done above the, the starting price? These start at just under 50 grand. What have you done to this one to hot it up? Well, this one we've put uh, hydraulic steering on, uh, a little bit more horsepower than a base price. Uh, we've got a walkthrough transom and a, and a live bait tank. Yep. We've fitted the Lone Star uh, GX1 anchor winch. Uh, we've got the aluminium uh, fold down rocket launcher, uh, kill tank, um, and Laurent sounder, etc. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically ready to turn the key and go fishing anywhere from Port Phillip Bay to, to Gippsland, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Um, tell us about the, the feedback you've had. You've got a lot of customers into Maclay boats now. Uh, what's their feedback a, a year or two on? Uh, well, the, the thing is that they, they don't have to touch them. They drive them out of our driveway. Um, the, the nature of the boats, the way they're built and the, the way they're finished, there's, there's virtually no maintenance on them. They give them a good wash after every saltwater run, and that's all they need to do. Yeah, you betcha. And we've seen plenty of happy Maclay customers through the years at, uh, at Fishing Monthly Magazines. Look, what we like to do at Fishing Magazines is to take these out into some nasty weather and, uh, and give them a test. I think we've got a bit of that coming. Hopefully so let's, uh, we'll go and see how these Maclay boats perform, and we'll get back to you soon. So there you go, you can never blame us at Fishing Monthly for being scared of the elements because we put the rain suit on and got out in that nasty uh, Melbourne weather. But as always happens in Melbourne, if you don't like the weather, it's gonna change. So uh, after we've been out in Port Phillip Bay and put the little sportsman cutty through its test, it's now fined up beautifully. Um, I can deliver to you this information though. It's, uh, it's uh, well firstly, it's a little rocket ship. This thing, uh, one up out there, um, drives like a little sports car and a lot of fun to drive around. You can probably see in some of the footage overlaid here that we had a lot of fun driving it around in the rain and, uh, and a little bit of chop um, but if you're interested in economy and everyone is nowadays the most economical speed was at uh, 3500 rpm where we got 2.9 kilometers per litre of fuel burned um, if you wanted to drive at uh, full speed 6000 rpm you only get 1.6 kilometers per litre of fuel so you nearly halve the efficiency going a little bit faster and at wide open throttle at 6000 rpm this thing goes 62 kilometers per hour now if you're looking for a boat for the family something that's going to keep 
keep the, the wife and the kids really happy, this probably isn't the boat for you. There are other boats in the Maclay range that have those creature comforts that the family's really gonna like. But if you're a serious fisherman and uh, you don't mind a boat which is, uh, which is a work boat, it's got a big wide deck, it's easily hosed out, it's got all of the features that a fisherman needs, like the live well, the workbench, um, and you like getting out there and getting amongst it, this is definitely worth having a look at. Um, the packages start from under $50,000 with the 90 Suzuki on the back, but this one here as tested with the 115 Suzuki comes in at 61,490. Um, the best thing uh, I like about the McClay boats is the fact that they've got that nihilic finish on and they look just as good in a year or two's time as they do straight out of the showroom. That ground aluminium finish um, looks good, looks tough, guys like it, and it stays looking that good for years on end. So I think it's a really good feature of that McClay range, the fact that it's gonna look like a good boat for years down the track and of course McClay's smart enough not to paint any of those uh, any of those work edges and surfaces that are going to get a lot of hard work uh, but make sure if you're interested in the McClay boats give David and the guys at Warrigal Marine Centre a call they love getting out of the office and onto the water with their customers and showing them exactly what these McClay boats can do um, you can visit them on their website at warrigalmarine.com.au or go and give their Facebook page a like at Warrigal Marine Centre but until next time this is Steve Morgan checking out for Fishing Monthly magazines.